<laughs> Hi, I'm Lizzie. So I'm Max. My name is Valen Lulato. My name is Shivanti. So my name is Lo. Hi, I'm Samiksha Agarwal. Hi, my name is Molly. Hi, my name is Julian. My name is Rachel Wan. Hi, I'm Ben Club. Hi, I'm Georgia. I'm running to be Democracy and Communities Executive Officer. I'm running to be the next Sport Executive Officer. And I'm running as next Equity, Diversity and Inclusion Executive Officer. I'm running for the position of Equity, Diversity and Inclusion Executive Officer. I'm standing for the Democracy Representative. I'm running to be the next Academic Experience Executive Officer. I'm running for Sport Executive Officer for 23-24. I'm running for LSU Press. And I'm running for the next Equity, Diversity and Inclusion Executive Officer. I'm running for the position of Sport EO at the Union for 2023-24. and 24. And I'm running for SE President. I'm really passionate about the union and I just want to bring that passion to the top job. I'm running the election because I feel like I can make a really positive change to sport in Loughborough. I really want to increase the involvement of every strand of Loughborough. I'm doing it because I deeply care about students' well-being and I want to represent everyone's better within the LSU. I'm running because I want to continue the development of sport at Loughborough over the next 18 months, how it has over the last six. I'm running for this role because I want to make the student voice heard in this student union. The reason I'm standing for it is that um, the word inclusivity was there and that was the one that had my attention. I feel that after a long time from Covid, a lot of us have uh, left our house after two years and then coming to a foreign country and uh, I, I really feel it's a good time for all of us to be really inclusive and be there for each other. To bring out a change uh, and curb all the differences amongst all the ethnicity and uh, to create a being wherein every person have the right to speech and every person have the right to put in the ideas and that's how I can contribute to bring out the creative genius amongst all the students in Loughborough University. I'm currently the rag rep for Loughborough Powerlifting and Weightlifting and during my time as rag rep I got uh, events planning experience and fundraising experience which is what I want to bring to the union so that I can help hubs uh, increase their own budgets and raise money for charity with incentives. I'm running because I'm super passionate in student matters and believe strategies should be put into place to create an unrivaled student experience by putting students at the heart of what we do. And the reason I'm running for the elections is because I've worked with the LSU for the last three years being on committee and I feel like I've really seen the changes that need to be made. I think that I'd be really good for the role as um, throughout my time at university I've been involved in pretty much all the branches of academic experience, so peer supports, um, department committees, um, as well as academic representation. So I believe I have the skills and the experience and the knowledge necessary to represent your views and support you through your academic studies. I am currently in my final year of uh, psychology. I am 22, I come from Italy, but something funny is that most people think I'm not from Italy because apparently I have a weird accent. I'm 19, I take geography and sports science. I'm in my second year. I'm currently a fixture secretary for Loughborough Lacrosse, also a coach for Loughborough Lacrosse and AU Athletics. I said psychology, I'm in third year and I'm 20. I'm Vice Community Lead for Societies currently and I'm also Chair of Flick Cinema. I am 27 years old. So I'm pursuing MBA, Master of Business Administration currently. I'm 21 uh, and I'm currently a third year chemistry student. I'm a second year construction engineering management student. At school I did karate and boxing and then I came to uni. I played IMS hockey in first year. Well, I tried to play IMS hockey in first year and I am now a member of the committee for powerlifting and weightlifting. I do a course that a lot of people say isn't a course, I do fine art. I personally love it. I'm from Tenerife, which is a little island in the Canaries. I'm 20 years old and I am a final year sociology and media student. So I'm 21, I do automotive engineering. I'm 27 years old, I'm from India. I'm pursuing MSc Marketing in Loughborough University and I started last October. My favourite thing about Loughborough is the sport and how involved everyone is. On a Wednesday I find it so fun going around to each different sport and seeing what they're getting up to. My favourite thing about Loughborough is just the wide range of opportunities we have here and I just want to make sure that people can get into those opportunities even more because there's so much available to us. My favourite thing about campus is Powerbase because that's where I met a lot of my friends and that's where I tend to spend most of my time. And my favourite thing about Loughborough, it's got to be the sport on a Wednesday. 
Uh, we are a sports university that is really motivating for me. I see grounds and fields and sports persons running everywhere. All I see is people running around and uh, having coffees in the morning. That's what I lo love about Lafra. It's the largest university in UK and I really feel it's saying to be chosen by Lafra University for this particular course. This campus is so huge, so massive and it offers so many abundant opportunities to students that we just have no time to sleep and be at rest and be inside uh, our, our own shell. I play tennis, I do powerlifting, um, big gym rat. Uh, I love a lot of things about Loughborough. My favourite thing about Loughborough is the sense of community here. I really love how you can go anywhere and you'll see people you know because there's so many opportunities to get involved and meet new people. Since I kind of stepped foot here on Loughborough campus um, on the open day, you know, I've, I've loved it since the start. Um, I can't really imagine going away anytime soon. My greatest achievement so far is probably when I was rag rep for Falkirk in my first year. Uh, we managed to reach £34,000 for breast cancer that year, so I think that's a pretty big achievement. My greatest achievement would be being the chair of the International Students Network this year, providing a safe and empowering space for international students, creating a home away from home for students here at Loughborough. I think my greatest achievement so far has got to be the election last year. It was an amazing experience and brilliant result. Oh, definitely uh, doing all my exams without crying. So I am a national level uh, debater from my school days and I held the position of cultural prefect in 11th standard. Then I was a debating secretary in 12th standard. I think that I really feel has been my greatest achievement is my marathon that I have run and it was 21 kilometers. And it was all me, it was all motivation that I had for it. And at the end of the marathon, I felt truly like, you know, something changed inside me a little bit, tipsy-lipsy. I'd say my biggest achievement is overcoming all the struggles and hardships I've been through in my life. I'm sure like most of you, you've gone through tough times and we've all come out the other side. Um, I think that's such a great achievement, even if it might seem minor on the outside, I think you should all be really proud of yourself because I know I am. My greatest achievement is probably getting into Loughborough. <laughs> I think my greatest achievement is that I've really kind of come out of my shell. I'm usually quite introverted and I've really been able to get involved in lots of things here and really meet new people and yeah, really like getting out of my comfort zone. My greatest achievement was when I walked the length of Wales with my best friend in 2021 for Macmillan Cancer Support where we raised £2,171. It was the best summer of my life and also the worst summer of my life. but. I would like to do it again in the near future. The biggest pet peeve that I have is that when people ask what is your pet peeve because I am too lazy to Google what pet peeve is. So I kind of like, I never answer this because uh, I always have to Google what exactly pet peeve is. If I'm talking to someone and someone is not reciprocating, so that's the thing which annoys me a lot. So if I'm talking to you and you're not uh, willing to take that, you're not willing to listen to that, then there is no point of me talking about myself, talking about my ideas, my vision, my goals. My pet peeves is um, it's whenever people press to like walk, like you know when you have to, in England you have to like wait and like press and then walk on the crosswalk. That doesn't happen in Spain and some people press it and then just walk anyway and then the lights stop and no one's there to walk and I don't really understand why you do that. My biggest pet peeve um, is either snoring or eating with your mouth open and making loads of noise. I really hate like sound related annoying things like that. My pet peeve has got to be people at Loughborough thinking that there's no sport for them. If you're in sport there's something for you here. I hate eating yogurts with a big spoon. I think it's the most evil thing in the world. Only small spoons for yogurts. Things that really annoy me if people like aren't really straightforward with me, um, or if, you know, they kind of say things that they would do but don't always like follow through. I reckon. My biggest pet peeve is when people don't put their weights away and also chew with their mouths open because that's disgusting and those people should be eradicated. My biggest pet peeve is when someone is talking to you and that other person is on their phone and pretending to be listening and just stares at the phone the whole time.